Well, I gotta be honest with you. Um, I, if you're gonna be selling me this machine, I'm gonna definitely gonna need some kind of some kind of kickback. Lost a bunch of money at the casino, and um, it's basically coming down to four or five hundred bucks. So I don't know. I mean, it's up to you. That uh, that's against company policy, and I'm you know I don't. It's not worth losing my job. I mean, I wanna sell you a piece of equipment that you like and for a good fair price, but as far as anything else, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to help I understand, you know. I understand. Um, well, um, I guess we can set up a demo for next week then. Um, might as well try it out and see if I like it or not. Yeah. It's not exactly to scale. Sorry I don't have my products with. I can demonstrate That's those it. to you at a later time if you'd like. Oh, yeah, I'd love that. There's six pedals, and they're not very long, so they're not going to go in your eyes or anything. It's just kind of like a little mini miniature fan on your nose. But like it, it sticks out far enough where it's not gonna get in your face or anything. Okay. And if it like somehow did, like say a gust of wind hit you that way, like it's just felt, it might bug your eye first. So it's not gonna but, come like poke my eye out or oh, anything no. if I wearing mm -hmm. it. And... Unless you're allergic to something, the okay. felt that'd be the only thing. Well, so. that's good because I think I have some pretty good eyes. What oh do you yeah, they're, like my eyes? they're pretty. Yes, yeah. they're good. <laughs> right. But yeah, they won't they won't hurt anyone's eyes. So. Okay. Well, that's good to know because I wouldn't want to damage my pretty eyes. That's good. Yeah. I need them to look at you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> but um, like like I was saying about the prices before, like um, like see like here. These... So does that sound good for you? For um, that one? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yep. Okay, good. But so you know, let's put all this aside for a second. What would you think about going out and having a drink after? Well, I'm pretty after busy. I still I got a couple more sales presentations after this, so. You couldn't. Mm -mm. Pass them up and say, hey. I got, I got to meet my quota. You know how it is. Well, what if we just take an extra long time here tonight? Mm, I got the next meeting in about 15 minutes. So. Oh, so you're, okay. Got to rush so out I of here. I apologize. Uh, well, that's okay. Okay, did you have any other questions or anything? Um, or? no. Okay. I think that's about all I've got. Well, Alcal Coffee is organic and free trade certified. Are you familiar with those terms, or do you want me to go over them real quick? Um, why don't you go over them? I guess I'm not really all familiar. Okay, organic uh, is agriculturally sound growing practices. Yeah, that's that? uh, yes, it does. Okay. Um, another thing, I would I would seriously like to keep to make, conduct the sale, but um, just yesterday my car broke down, and cool. I'm kind of. A little bit of financial stress right now, so okay, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I was to hear wondering that. maybe you know you get money, you get a commission when you sell this. So could you? I mean, it would be great if you could give me a chunk of that change. Got to, no. I got to put a new starter on my car. So well, I must admit that's the first request that I've ever received. Um, but you know, we are paid on commission, but there is no salary base with that commission. It is strictly commission and so that's my main means of supporting my family and okay. if I were to give up any of that it would affect the way I was able to support my family so I'm sorry I okay well I mean if you make this sale then obviously you're probably gonna get more business so then in turn you're gonna get more commission yeah so. but I'm kind of in a sticky situation myself at this time um, my boyfriend just moved in with me and we just bought a dog and so it's kind of oh. a transition time where there's a lot of new costs that are coming up that we're trying to deal with and so I, th I think I should probably okay. save all the money I have. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> have you done something different with your hair? I mean the last time we met was so long ago. Uh, well actually I got it highlighted but you know nothing too much or anything okay. like well, that. Oh looks so. very good. Well, thank you, thank you. So what's new with you and everything at Target? Oh, uh, Target is the same, just I bought a new boat. Uh, yeah. So really? It's pretty expensive, but yeah, yeah, I managed to, you know, fit that. That's I awesome. I make a good, you know, I make a good living out of this, so, yeah. That's good. Anyways, things are great at Target, and um, yeah, let's talk about what you have. Okay. Um, like I said earlier about Tiger Woods, yeah, he is the top player on tour now, and he does use Nike balls, not Titleist. Well, so, like I said, um, that's just, you know, one person. Um, again, we do, you know, boast the largest number of tour players with um, Titleist with the Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Um, like I said, unfortunately, we can't have Tiger, but the contracts he signed into kind of kind of lock him in there. Okay. Um, another thing I, I was kind of looking at was, uh, I guess your balls are, are the most expensive on the market, right. um, which is tough, I guess, 
for you know if, if they wanted to use Nike or well uh, they are they are highest price for the Pro V One X but you know we do have the the, the lower price points here which do compete with with all the balls on the market including Nike and Callaway and such okay. um, and that's kind of where this whole uh, program why, why we recommend um, going with the higher quantities it gives you more flexibility to price the balls where you'd like okay. well so what I mean. Uh, you know, the ones we have are working out pretty good, so I'll, I'll, I want to hear some of these things, but I'm uh, just letting you know, I mean, you know, the ones that we have are already pretty good, so. Yeah, yeah, they are good jerseys, but um, all, like, all the teams, like UMD then do two good last year, <coughs> and you guys would like to win it, I'm, I'm sure. And, Absolutely. like, Denver, they're in, the, they're in the conference, too, and they put in these new Nike Swift jerseys, which is pretty much the same type of concept as the, the Reebok ones, but it's Nike, so it's a little different. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, this article right here, this is when they first put them in. They were on a one and seven losing streak, and then they used the New Jerseys. They beat that team, went on to win this tournament, and it was considered the turning point in their season. I'll let you keep this if you want to. Okay. It's the turning point in their season, and many people, two thirds said it was because the team wore them. Twenty four percent, they said they like them, so. Fans do like them, okay. And as you can see, they actually did have an impact. And WCHA games, they're highly competitive. Over like 40 percent last year, I believe, were decided in one goal or less. And I think 10 of them went into overtime. So, as far as uh, you said, it's, this is just a Sony product. In like my family, we always fed Toshiba, pretty okay. much brand televisions like yep. all my life. I don't and, know what the and that's is, and that's nice. Um, that you've always had Toshiba, um, but one of the things is that I think you'll find out. Um, you know, one of the things I want to do um, with you is invite you to come and check out um, this version at my office. I have multiple televisions um, okay. that you can check out: Toshiba, <coughs> Vizio, Samsung, Panasonic. Mm -hmm. And I really find that I really think you'll find that this television has um, a better picture quality than, say, a Toshiba or some of the other. Okay. Um, brands out there. Well, I I feel kind of bad saying this, but I just don't really think that the quality of the new tools is any better than the current ones. I can I can see why you feel that way. Um, I know John Roberts over at Lowe's felt that way, mm -hmm. but after he tested our product out, he did the trial version that we can offer for you if you're not totally want to commit, and he found that through like customers' opinions, which he's asked and all that, and what he's found is they're actually very durable, they're a lot stronger, and they come with a lifetime warranty, which your current product does not have right now. Yeah. And that's one of our big selling points at Craftsman is our lifetime warranty. And it just proves how much we stand <coughs> behind our durability of our product. Because all of our products are put through rigorous testing that's kind of I don't know how you'd say more than what it would averagely go through in a normal day before we even put them out on the shelves. Oh, well, that sounds great. Does that answer your question? Yeah.